Hey everyone, I'm Brian. You're watching Build a Place channel. In this video, I'm going to be refurbishing this 2003 Winston 20-ton trailer. The deck on it is in, well, the boards on the deck are in really bad shape. They, I wouldn't even want to put, I don't even want to walk on this trailer as it is right now. So we're going to start stripping those boards off. I'll give it a new paint job and do some other repairs. So stick with me on the video. I think you'll enjoy. I have some unique t techniques that I'll be using that I haven't seen anyone else use when they uh, refurbish trailers, so stick with me. First thing I need to do is get this uh, shovel front off. This is for another project I'm working on, so it's been kind of housed on this trailer for a while, so I gotta go get the excavator and get this thing plucked off of here. So once I get this off and that uh, assembly up there in the front, I'll be able to start taking these boards off. Well, I got everything off the deck now, so you can see this deck, uh, this board I can practically pull right out, no problem. So it's going to need, definitely need boards, there's no doubt about that. But we're going to start taking these things off. I'm going to try a couple of different ways that I've had success in the past with taking the screws out. So let's just get started on this thing. Preparation to get this deck pulled apart, I'm going to uh, coat these screws with a mixture of transmission fluid and, a, and gear oil. It's no real special recipe. Just I figured transmission fluid would, would penetrate down into it and the gear oil would kind of hold it against the thing. And, and the plan is, is that the wood is porous so that it'll act as a sponge and it'll hold the oil around the uh, base of the screw so as this works its way down past through the wood all the way down to the the metal cross pieces it'll just stay wet with the the oil so I'm just gonna go along and pump all these screws from the top side to get the screws from underneath I'm just gonna use a a uh, siphon blow gun and I just stick this right in the can of oil and then just spray that on the threads the screws from underneath. Now I have spent a little bit of time before I started this video getting some of these screws loose. Basically I was using a, a breaker bar and I was trying to get some of them free. Some of them don't want to come free but like these I've already freed those up so I got a, it's a T40 bit in my uh, impact. And these are just going to come right out because they've already been loosened up. So it's not going to be no issue with these. Uh, this is probably going to be, yeah. This is one I haven't got broke free. And basically what I'll do is take the breaker bar and I'll try to put a little, little bit of pressure on it. Uh, it's, it's broke free with the breaker bar. Work it around a little bit. And then it should come out pretty easy with the impact now. This one was already loosened up, I think. So you'll see this. There's going to be a lot of them that are already loosened up, or there's some that are broke. I'm going to put these up here. I didn't bring a tray to put this, but I think this board is, yeah, this board is free, except for down at the bottom. Let's throw this off to the side, pick this up in a little bit.
this should pull out. Start following this out again. Pretty well shot, most definitely. Well, I don't know, I got bolts still in this one. Well, that's good there. That's good there, so all I gotta do is come down here and break that through that head of that screw. I got all the, the ramp is basically done, and once this board's off, start getting the boards off, still gotta get the screws. There you go. The ramp is all done. These are screws that I let, uh, where I put some heat on from the top. I'm going to take the breaker bar. I already got one of them free. So of course this one's free now. Just tighten it back up. Get with it. Right. So that's a little bit of heat and a little bit of oil. Got that so they're coming out. I'm going to have to probably redo this one. I don't think this one's going to move. No, uh, he's already tried that one. That one moved. But I got one other one that moved. So got that one out, but then I figured I'd record what I got done. That one's good. So a little bit of heat always helps. I didn't think it was going to do much from the top like that. But it fit. apparently it did, so let me hit these. What I got? One, two, three. I'm heat these three back up again. See if that makes a difference. So you can always burn the boards off, start a little fire, or can't fire. It is surprising how much putting heat on on an item and then let it soak how well it does and break it free. So I think it would have done better if I could have got underneath between those two axles and heated from the other side. I know it would have done a lot better. Drop a little bit of oil, try to get down as, around that edge as best I can. Let it boil down in there. Let these sit again. I can see the head of the screw is getting pretty warm, so the shaft of this screw should be getting warm also. If the head's getting that warm, I'm gonna let those sit for a little bit. Side on this row. Oh, I gotta pull this out. See it. Blowing on the dirt out of these holes. I want to heat these uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven screws up. I think this is going to be difficult because it's counter slow. A couple of them are counter sunk into the wood. Probably going to end up just burning the wood away from it. Down in there. 
But there's a hole. I've let these sit for a little bit and I'm gonna see if we can break these a couple free that we had uh, heated up right before break. And it doesn't seem like this one wants to break free yet. It's probably gonna break. Yeah, that one that one just plain broke. Let's see, that's okay, we can get them out still. This one's going. This one's breaking free. Here it's snapping. That one's good. And if I get this one. This will be the last one on this row. Yep. Yeah. It broke free. Let's put the impact on and take it on off. That ends. That ends this whole row. This is done. I'm going to the next row. I heated the other row up a little bit. So we'll see if those break free any. This is the next row up. Um, we heated these up a little bit and I didn't put I didn't put any additional oil on these, but I just heated them up. That one's free. That little bit of heat seemed like it did something. That one's free. Just heating it up. That was hard to believe that heating from the top. That little bit got that. All these are free so far. Every one I've hit got four more left to go. This one, two, th three more. That one spoke it too soon. That one's free. Let me turn this camera a little bit. You can see that. Make sure it's right. See this one freed up. Pick. I think I didn't have all that dirt out of there. Should have brought the air gun up here too. We'll get the air down in there. That one's free. See this one. It's just hard to believe that little bit of heat. Nope, not this one. Nope, that one's not. So I got one that's not. I can reheat that one. This one's real loose. Let me get the impact. Pop these out. That one I didn't get. This one one more time and we'll let it soak. That heat's just not getting, I don't think it's getting down in there with that piece of wood right there. Pull some of that wood out of the way. That's shielding it a little bit. Get all this wood out, and then I can get it down, down around the, more down the threaded part of the screw. Huh. 
Wood's wanting to burn. Really. <laughs> Okay, we'll let that soak a little bit. Then we'll start working our way back to the next row for the mid just we're doing just the middle of the trailer we get this extra bolts that'll be right here and these ones I think I can I'm gonna bring the tilt the deck of the trailer up and I'm gonna try to get these ones from underneath the heat up because I think it'd be a better idea let me see if any of these have gotten free I didn't heat these at all just put oil on them these are pretty tight. Let me drop the trailer down, and we'll heat these ones up. And we'll heat everything. We'll heat everything we can from the bottom side. That's all we got to tilt it up. Okay, here's the brother. We just heat it up a minute ago. They will get one of them out with the impact now. Just two of them out with the impact now. I'm going to try the breaker bar, see how many I can break free. The breaker bar. That one looks feels like it's going to break free, but I think it's going to break. It's moving. No, it broke. So it broke one. Probably gonna be the difficult one. No, nope. five. That one's free. That one's broke. That one's free. So let's back these all off. It's getting hot out here. Uh, well, the, not necessarily hot, but the humidity is going up like crazy. Uh, look at me, I'm sweating. I don't know how well you can see I'm sweating, but it's been getting to be a warm day, but all the boards are off. So I'm happy for that right now. I don't know if it's, I really don't know what time it is, but all the boards are off and I have 50 screws in whatever configuration with the screw heads on, with the screws broke off. So there's about 50 of them that I need to still take off of this trailer. So I'll be working on 
Some of them may need to get heated up a little bit, but now there's no boards in the way. It'd be easy to heat them up, so I can just go along and heat all those up. May bring, uh, probably just bring the rosebud out here and just hit them real quick with the rosebud. And wow, I'm just glad to have this much done. So there's gonna be a lot of cleaning that's going to be done once I get those screws out of the way, but, and the sweat's coming off me right now, coming down the side of my nose, my forehead, my glasses staying foggy the whole time. So I uh, hope you're enjoying it so far. I'm not having a real grand time, but I'm glad to see this thing get fixed. I've been wanting to get this done for a while. So I'm gonna have to use the vice grip pliers to get the rest of those off. So my plan is to just start grabbing one at a time and basically try to rock it back and forth. If I can get it to come out the top, I'm gonna cut the, I'm gonna cut off at the bottom pretty much flush with the bottom. If I can't get it to come out the top, then I'm gonna to have to go from the bottom, I'll cut the flush off at the, at the top at that point. I'm just gonna to try to find one that I can get to that's loose enough. This is one that's, this one's loose. So what I'm gonna do, I have a pan, a catch pan there. I have a catch pan and I'm just gonna cut this off as flush as I can to the to the the bottom of the uh, C channel. That way I don't have to back the screw all the way up. All the way up. The whole screw it's going to be kind of flush with the bottom so it won't be that much in the screw that i cut off is caught in the catch pan i didn't do this too much earlier because i didn't have my catch pan and i didn't want my screws to be falling on the ground and not be able to find the end of the screw and it's just one thing that could get caught up in your tires so Here's another one I got. It's it's free. So let me just fold that one around. Then I'll cut the bottom of that screw off. And basically do the same thing for all the ones that will come out from the top. I wanted to zoom in a little bit on this one. If this is the one I'm gonna use, I'm not sure. This one's free and I may have to come back and hit these again with a torch, but so far I'm doing okay on finding ones that will, that will, that one's not the easy one. So let me go to this next one. This one's breaking free pretty easy. So let's bring it around. Oh, I'll just get that out of the way. We'll cut this off. Just back this one right on out. I was real happy to get that deck off. Uh, that was a little bit of work yesterday. Uh, it's a new day. I counted 190 screws that were holding this deck to this uh, trailer. So that's a lot of screws. So I missed a couple of them. I think it was like three of them that I missed. So I'll go back and get them. But I got this thing pressure washed. It looks, it looks cleaner, but it still doesn't look good. But my next step is I'm going to use this oscillating tool. And I'm going to use that to take off all the decals and this reflective tape and anything that's stuck on a trailer that's a adhesive type of label. I'm going to use this to take that off, so just get started.
that's going to make that's definitely going to make quick work and all this is, is just a regular oscillating tool with a like a putty knife type of blade on it like slight edge on it and that's uh taking those labels off i should have got something to catch it under so i don't have to pick up the labels i'm going to get a little can or something or tub i can get these put into so i'm not having to pick it up off the floor but this works great <laughs> I removed all the labels, so now I have this sticky residue from the adhesive left. So tried a couple things and found that uh, WD-40 works pretty good on getting that, that adhesive off, especially this reflective tape. It was, it's got some really good adhesive that's leaving behind. So we use WD-40, regular WD-40, not WD-40 with the silicon in it, because uh, I don't want to get silicon. This will be bad enough trying to get this oily, film or whatever that this leaves, I gotta get that off, but basically all you, I'm gonna do is spray it on there. And then I'm using a stainless steel uh, sky ring pad you get from the dollar, I get these from the dollar store, a pack of two or three or whatever for two dollars or whatever. And I'm just gonna use that to scour over top of the the adhesive to kind of break it, break it free from the painted surface, and it takes a little while for it, even, even with this scouring pad, it takes a little bit of work, elbow grease to get that that adhesive to work to free up off of the uh, surface. So put just a little bit more on there. I just keep on working this. Till I get all that adhesive free with the scouring pad. See, it's not breaking up in here. It's it's slowly working that adhesive off. The other labels, uh, they seem to come off. The adhesive seems to come off fairly easy in comparison to these reflective tape. Did end up finding some pretty heavy residue right in here so I went and got my number 18 exacto blade scraper. That's just I just call it number 18 blade because on whatever handle that is but it's a number 18 blade. It's a nice general purpose scraper to kind of break some of that adhesive up because so that's this adhesive is pretty strong. Now I'll come back with the the uh, scouring pad and get the last of it that if I see some other places I'll just take that blade and run over it. So I think that helped getting a lot of that that uh, thick residue off there. I think you got this pretty well cleaned off. Now, the WD-40 is going to leave some kind of film residue. It seems kind of oily and greasy. So I have uh, LA's totally awesome cleaner that I use for, it's kind of like my go-to cleaner. I've mixed this 50-50 uh, to water to awesome and it works pretty well on a lot of things. So I'm just going to use that to Kind of break some of that film. I'm just gonna spray that on there. Let that soak just a little bit. I'll put some on this. Now it's got a regular Scotch um, white pad, and I'm just gonna use that to kind of scrub in that area to help try to pull that that film, oily film out. So I don't want that to get down in my paint. Well, down in the paint, so when I paint, it's gonna bubble up or not stick in those points. But I'll be washing this more as I go along. This isn't the final cleaning.
but now for the most part most of that most of that residue should be gone I'll just take a, a, a towel dry that off for whatever is out and that should have all that residue I may still have a little pieces of adhesive that I'll be finding but basically that's I want to take off all the the labels or the that's that's how I'm going to get all the adhesive that's left from the stickers, labels. Just getting ready to uh, do the priming on this trailer this morning. So before I did that, I wanted to get these rub rails. They were bent in a little bit. I got this spot plus a couple other spots that need to be pushed out a little bit. We'll get that done and then get started mixing my primer and get ready to do some spraying this morning. Put my porta power in there and I'll see if I can push this one out right here and where the center of the bend is. I'll try to push that right out. See how much it springs back when I let it out. Spring back just a little, I'm gonna go just a little bit more, a little bit further out because it sprung back a little bit. That's enough. Right, just a little bit more. I'm gonna go down just a little bit right there. Right there and just try to get it. It's not that far off. Just do one more right here where it was bent in and then that'll be it. That'll be close enough. Not exactly straight, but a whole lot better. I got one more to do, and then I think I'll be done. Put the logos back on to the trailer. I decided I'm going to paint that, so I made a stencil. Here's the the Winston stencil that I'll use, and I'll cut this in half long ways and tape it on or fasten it on. Then I'll spray paint the uh, image on there. And then basically, I just took a, a vinyl cutter, and I'm just going to pull these letters out. I'm just This will be the image that I'm going to be painting. It's not weeding out right but I have that and then have another Pro Series label below here and then I got the high tensile that's going to be the bottom and I'll cut those out. Yeah. This is back and paper off again. There's the stencil. Here's an 
Maybe a little different because I wasn't doing too good last time getting that this right through here. That's better. I'm a squeegee. Pull it straight back. This piece of tape off. Pivot tape. And these two on the end. Come out of the way. Come back. Back the tape and pull it off. Looks like the image is staying good this time. Positive thing. Squeegee. Let's start squeegeeing it on. Transfer paper off. And then we're ready to start putting our hair star masking. See where the image is pulling away a little bit here and there, but I'll run squeegee over it again. Being still warm out, it'll it'll help get it to stick better too. But the way I'm going to paint this, I'm going to put a light, real light coat each time on these uh, stencil. That'll keep it from bleeding because it'll. If you put too heavy a coat first time, especially vertical like this, it'll it'll bleed right in. So I'm going to try to lightly put just like a sealing coat, I guess, for lack of a better word, just to kind of get it all coated, but not real heavy. That's probably all that I want to do for the first coat. And so you can wait about a minute between coats. I'll wait till, till uh, probably a hair kind of sticks to it. Okay, it's dry to the touch. So I'm going to put another coat on the blue. It's cardboard. This will be the last coat of paint that I'm going to put on the decal, or on the, no, I'm sorry, on the stencil. Keep on the keep on the stencils. So let me get this ready. And this coat can be somewhat heavy because we've sealed around the edges of the stencil by the light coats. Start getting this masking off that out of the way first. Do what we got. Hopefully it didn't bleed. Hopefully it turned out nice crisp letters. No bleeding. I don't see anything yet that 
pretty promising so far. See a little bit of uh, not real smooth edges in here, but it doesn't look too bad. Sure got my weeding tool. If I can weed out that. Oh, it didn't come out too good right there. Got a bad place right on the top of that W. Let's see if I can weed this. Oh, that was not using a weeding tool. Without damaging what I painted. Didn't come out too bad. Uh, finish up this trailer project. I just need to put the boards on. Uh, that's going to be a task on itself, but. Get started on it. Crickets are making all kinds of noise this morning. They're, they're all excited about something. So let's get started getting these boards on. I want my tools and drills and all that and square. And down there I have my saw horses set up with a saw. So I'm gonna start getting ready to cut some boards. And nice thing is the holes are already there. Hopefully I don't need to drill any more holes. It looks like there's a some chance I may have to drill a few holes but hopefully not so let's get started sawing these boards and getting this thing back together Cracks on the edge of the boards keep them, keep them from drying out too fast. This wax will s slow to the drying down of this end grain, especially. I'll do the same thing on the other side. was a wooden Q-tip. Dab the end with a little bit of paint. Locate the hole. Find the hole. Just put a mark with the end of the Q-tip. Looking underneath. I'll dab your head like this is going to be the hardest part. Okay, where the hole is, once you locate it, just a little dab of glue at that location. This is a pretty Q-tip on this, this is a piece of channel there. Let's go along and just put a Q-tip for that one. Up here to the next spot. Location where the hole is. Send the key tip cotton card up to the hole. Get a mark. I know I'm going to have paint all over my fingers when this is all done. I'm trying to locate the hole in. Then get the key tip in that spot. Start drilling these these holes out. There you go, Mark. So we're just gonna the back up order to go these pretty much straight up. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
kind of stop down to down the depth. Not much kind of thing have to do on these. Wood's kind of still damp. Get this first board set in place. So everything works. The first one's always the most difficult because you're setting everything up. Little dab of do. So I find where the hole is. Finally, trying to find these holes is not an easy thing. What you find just put a little dab of paint in the end, and you're good. Marked on with the gray paint. Just want to drill the hole. Getting ready to get chased out by it. Try to get this last board drilled out. We're going to get this kind of sunk done. One section of the trailer that I decided to drill new holes because the holes that were in the existing location they were kind of half coming out on the edge of the C channel so it wasn't really holding the boards down really good and they were drilling all the way close to the end grain so I'm moving those holes forward on the trailer one uh, section of C channel so it's uh, let me look here real quick that's well, that's probably about eight inches further forward so I think that's going to work out better, less chance of the ends of the wood cracking out with the screws that close to the edge. So uh, let's see how it goes. I think it's going to do good. I, well, I already did the other side and that turned out really good. And I think it's going to hold the boards down really good. This is the original holes. And, and if you look going this way, you'd see that it's going real close to the end grain and the screws holes are just breaking out on well over here I pulled this back you can see that hole actually broke out so I got to re-drill holes pretty much anyway so that's why I'm coming back right here and putting holes for these two and I don't think that's going to cause any problem with this edge buckling up or anything and if it does I can always come and drill a couple holes there uh, I don't really want to but maybe I could put a smaller uh, bolt there or screw there get my pilot and the wood and then that'll give me a center point right down to the that'll give me a center point right down to the metal that's the metal now so it should be a good mark then you going in Last two. Okay, I should have that. Get these out of the way. 
way. Finish drilling my oil on my cutting hole on my bit and finish cutting these through. So I got a center mark there. It's drilling, but it's not as easy as the other ones did. Through. Okay, let's get the size eight drill and drill them out to the cap size. the hole a little bit. because they're into blind area. So just taking one of the old screws and cut it off and I'm gonna make a transfer stud for lack of a better word. It's just gonna be cut it off and put a straight blade uh, slot in it to be able to put it in the uh, 
upgraded hull. here it's a soft piece of wood so it, it uh, should uh, pretty decent work it's gonna be hot so I'm just gonna use this old paper towel hold it I'm gonna make two of them may have to make some more in, in a little bit but for now I'm just gonna make two of them Fancy, just to cut off in the screwed slot for the screwdriver. This is still going to be hot, so I need to have some water. So I'll let these cool off and then I'll put them in those two spots and we'll start getting these boards down in the middle of the ramp. The two holes I'm talking about are these two right here. So it's basically, it's just still a little bit warm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put it in the room. Get these two first for the first board. Try to keep both of them at the same height best you can. It's pretty tight. It's a cross thread of that one. Let's see if we get this one in a little better. It's still pretty tight too. I'm gonna snap it off and then there'll be another screw I gotta get out. Back this one off a little bit. Maybe it's, it's partially cross threaded. Just dirt in the threads. I think that's all it is. Yeah. About the same height. So I'm gonna lay this board up with the location where it goes. wood okay I got two marks that are good enough to use and I just had to mark the rest of the other four holes that up there at the top and I can get that with marking with the uh, cotton swab and Great paint. This uh, trailer project is now complete. I think it turned out fairly good. So uh, some things that I did that I uh, thought was a pretty good idea using the oscillating tool with a flat uh, scraper blade to take off the decals, uh, to use penetrating oil made out of transmission fluid and acetone mixed 50 50 I soaked the screws uh, threads where it went through the metal for a while and then um, using an impact wrench some of the screws came out easy some of them wouldn't come out easy so I used some heat and tried again with the impact and if that didn't work then I eventually just used the uh, vice grip pliers and found out which way I could get the screw to either come up through the um, piece of C channel or bring it down and I would cut off the excess so it would make it easy to take that out. Um, putting the boards on, that was that was actually a lot easier than I thought it was where we laid the board down and took the Q-tip with a little bit of paint on the tip and went up through the hole in the uh, C channel and marked the bottom of the board and then just flipped it over and drilled, drilled the hole and then countersunk and then used the impact tool to put the screws back in. I think there's a hundred and, I think I counted like 160 screws that are on this deck. So there's a good bit of screws holding this thing down and a good bit of wood. And uh, I think it came out really nice. So, till the next video.